Hi, it's time again for Tips and Tricks with Lynn Allen. Today, we're going to talk about an AutoCAD feature that is very popular with AutoCAD gurus. More notably, layer states. Now, what exactly is a layer state? Well, a layer state is basically just a snapshot of your existing layer settings, and you can save as many layer states as you want. If you find yourself jumping inside of the layer dialog box over and over again and flipping layers on and off and freezing them and thawing them, you will really, really benefit from layer states. Let's take a look. Okay, notice I'm inside of a specific viewport. Let's go into the layer dialog box. How do you get to the layer how do you get to layer states? Very simply, there's the layer states manager button right here. And you'll see in here I already have two layer states saved inside of this particular drawing. I have one called furniture plan and one called lighting plan. So I am going to just simply restore the furniture plan layer state. Hit an OK to get out, and you will see that the settings that were assigned to that layer state have now taken place inside of this particular viewport. So some of the layers were turned off. You'll see that uh, some of the layers were given specific colors and so on and so forth. Okay, let's try that again, except this time let's make one ourselves. Let's go into another viewport. We'll go back in the layer dialog box. And before we save a layer state, let's, let's make some changes. I happen to have a filter called mechanical and this lists out just 21 of all of the total layers. And what I want to do is I want to select all of these layers, just the mechanical layers because we're working with an HVAC layout. And let's see, let's change the viewport color of that of those particular layers over to magenta. It's a good color. Now, now I'm ready to save my layer state. Let's say maybe I do this all the time. I'm tired of doing this all the time and I want to save it to a, to a setting so I don't have to do it again, right? I'll come into the layer state manager I'll hit new and let's go ahead and call that HVAC and you can write a description if you want but let's face it most of us don't have time to sit around writing descriptions but you know I'll put one in there anyway just to make everybody happy and there we have there is our new layer state so most of the dialog box is pretty straightforward you, know, you can you can edit existing ones you can rename them you can delete them if you don't use them anymore this is important export this allows you to save your layer states out to a file that has an extension of LAS and that's important because that means that you can also import layer states into other drawing files. So once you get these guys all set up just the way you want, you can share them with others and you yourself can use them in any drawing that you go into, which is really, really powerful. All right, I don't technically have to restore this in this case because I've already saved those, I've already assigned those, but I think you get the general idea that now I have an additional layer state called HVAC. Okay, let's work with it just a little bit more. I'm going to show you how to get even faster at this. I'm going to go into a different viewport called Lighting Plan. And if you are in AutoCAD 2008, you'll notice that as I've been saving these layer states, they've only been assigned to my current viewport. That's a great feature inside of AutoCAD 2008. And you'll also see the dashboard inside of AutoCAD 2008 allows you to go directly to the layer states manager. Very, very quick, very, very fast. This should look very familiar to you, right? We were just looking at it. But even better than that, in the dashboard, there's a drop down list of all of your saved layer states. So I can very quickly switch over from one set of layers to another. Look how fast that was. So if you're willing to take the time up front and create multiple layer states, you will find in a long time you're going to save a lot of time. Okay, one last thing before we go. I have another drawing open. It's an older drawing. And I actually created layer states back when the Express Tool L-Man was very, very popular. And some of you are big fans of the L-Man Express Tool. But it can get really confusing if you've got layer states from L-Man, you have layer states from the Layer State Manager. So now we're only going to be working with one type of layer states. Those are the ones you just saw me working with. In fact, you'll see if I go into the Layer Dialog box, and I go into the Layer States Manager, it's going to let me know, hey, you happen to have some old layer states. That we're going to update those, and we're going to convert them over to the new ones. It does that for you automatically, which is really nice, and I can appreciate that. Those of you who use the Express Tools and are familiar with this tool are completely following me here, and you understand this. So that's another nice feature inside of AutoCAD 2008. All right, I want to thank you for your time. And I want you to go out, and I want you to make some layer states, because you're going to find you're going to be very, very productive in the long run. Thanks, and have a great week.